A showdown in the East. The two best records in the conference. LeBron James and the Cavaliers sit atop with a comfortable lead. In second place, Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic. The two teams that met in the playoffs last year in the Eastern Conference Finals become a professional basketball player. So don't do the same thing to Dwight Howard. There's plenty of love to be spread. And O'Neal has done this over the course of his career. Sometimes he tries to get in the head of an opponent. Don't know if that's the particular reason. Anthony Parker's shot won't go. O'Neal, the offensive rebound. A couple of fakes and throws it down right on top of Dwight Howard. I will give Shaq credit for this. As opposed to when he was a young guy looking to absolutely destroy the great centers of the league. Howard comes right back in a little bit of a shove afterwards. Of course, Shaquille O'Neal, you can say this is really the reason why the Cavs got him. First field goal as a Cav. Again, he was 0 for 12 in the loss to Charlotte. Howard had it blocked, thought he got fouled. The number's 58% from the field in the first quarter. As Howard banks it in. And Jeff, you talked about this Friday night when we were here. Howard is now starting to expand his offensive game a bit. He is. If I was Cleveland, I wouldn't worry about that. He can shoot those all night. Howard spinning. Stripped and fouled. O'Neal picks up his first. And we'll have our first timeout. <laughs> A gem to what I was talking about. No, you're right. I think he's unbelievable. <laughs> and I think that was goaltending. I think so, too. Howard, the block shot. Dwight Howard leads the NBA. Now Verjo is on. He's always looked up to Shaquille O'Neal. Howard inside. Nice left hand. Soft touch. I mean, if you're Dwight Howard, you probably figure it out that he's trying to get into your head. Um, but at the same time, if I'm Dwight Howard, I think. And a hot topic in Orlando here this afternoon as the Magic lead the Cavs 1916. Who is it, Shaquille O'Neal or Dwight Howard? As you said, it's getting silly, but these two, it's really become an issue. So we thought we'd have some fun. And maybe, as you said, Jeff, that Dwight Howard should bring that cape and give it to Shaq. Well, it's really, they're both, I don't know about men of steel, but they're both the real deal. Because Shaquille O'Neal is going to go down as one of the top ten players to ever play the game. Howard, left hand, throws it in. That's his second left-hander. Orlando back up by three. But you look at, I think the upside is, is great when you insert him into the line. Shot clock down to one, West inside, blocked by Howard. And a 24-second violation. And I was surprised Cleveland didn't try to go two for one there. Gets away again with the left hand. Impressive move for Howard, who's got 11 first quarter points. James pulls up. And short to end the first period. A strong one for Orlando. A fun one if you like watching stars. LeBron James, superb as always in the first quarter does have an impact and there are nerves involved. Jamison's job is Shaquille O'Neal with the big time putback. His job is just, there's no pressure on, on LeBron James. They can deal with it. Nice. Oh, O'Neal on the fingertips. Uh, the assist from Anderson Varejao. In the second quarter from Orlando. Howard, off and under. Dwight Howard, very sharp in the early going with 13. I like that he didn't settle. Put the ball on the floor and make a play. That time attacking Shaquille O'Neal. Barajow short. No, no question. He he has more variety in his shake game. Oh, how about O'Neal putting that in? I I was stunned by seeing a seven foot three, 350 pounder jackknife in air. I mean, I'm not sure that's a foul, but. Uh, to me, that's not a foul. But anyway, it's just that finish was both lucky and incredible. So he picks up his second foul. Shaq has two fouls. There's a word for Tony Brown as he walks off the floor. They go right back to O'Neal. Gortat single coverage. Yeah, Shaq able to put it in. O'Neal, a strong game. He's got 11 points. Three rebounds and a block, five for five from the field. He's ready for those great moments. But to me, you shouldn't overreact if you're Orlando. 
right? He's going one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want to open up the three-point game as well. 11 of his 13 points in the period, so Howard quickly gets up to go back in and defend him. Gortat overmatched. Lewis inside, and foul by O'Neal. That's going to be three on Shaq. This time, scores the basketball. This time, once again, playing one-on-one, -on -one, turns, squares. And how about this? This is the correct call because this is not a foul on Shaquille O'Neal. Hands straight up in the air. They make the call to shove behind by Jameson. Well, I think that was a foul on O'Neal, but I think Jameson may have fouled him first. Well, the rules say he went straight up with the hand straight up. Therefore, how could it be a, a foul on Shaq? I think he came in. You don't think he came into it? Well, they're really going out of down low. And three second violation call against O'Neal. And I think that's a very good call because a good front by Howard. Spent his first five years with Golden State, had a year in Dallas, and then five and a half with the Wizards before the trade during the All Star break. And a foul call on O'Neal on the entry pass. Now that one is his third. So he'll sit down for the remainder of the half as Varjao quickly gets off the bench. And what I love about that is Dwight Howard has got to understand that's when he's unguardable. When you're moving without the basketball, forcing the issue, now you put so much pressure on the initial guy defending you and on the entire defense. That's working before the catch prior to the basket. It's gone by here in this third quarter. Howard blocked by O'Neal. Not playing nice there. Inside to Barnes. Barnes leans in. In and out. Howard the rebound. Brad puts it in and a foul. You got to foul him harder in these games. What are these touch fouls? That well, was a guy this size, that's for sure. Je LeBron James, Dwight Howard, this is good individual defense by O'Neal. I thought Barnes got hit by Jamison, but you can't touch foul these guys. I don't understand why guys won't take hard fouls anymore. Jack and Howard, single coverage. Leans in, throws it down, and a foul. And I like that after the dunk, he looks over at the Superman cape. It's personal for Shaq. Mama, I love you, but I'm not playing nice. <laughs> you talk about clear the way, and then the patience regroups. He missed 17 games after the arthroscopic surgery. Lewis, tough shot, floating, hits the three, and the magic knee to that. And it was a very interesting. Howard goes a check, a couple of fakes. Shot no good, but a foul. If it's on O'Neal, that'll be number four. And the crowd enjoying that call. What he once used to be when he went to the middle, which is robotic. There he had a little bit more fluidity to his game. A good addition by Dwight Howard. He's now three for six from the free throw line. There's Joe right up into Howard again. Howard drives and draws the foul. Howard will shoot his 10th. Tip won't go. Jawad Williams back up. Missed it again. Ball batted around. West comes up with it. Back up and puts it in. O'Neal playing with four fouls. Little shake and bake move and he shuffled his feet. To me, that didn't look like a traveling violation by Shaq. Puts the ball on the floor. Still has the, still has the pivot foot look like. Tough call. Down the other end, Howard double team. Jamison doubles, kicks it out Reddick. Reddick wide open three, knocks it down. Magic back up by two. As Jeff mentioned, Petrus had a very strong series last year. Pass inside to O'Neal and lays it in. So you got to foul him there. If you're not going to foul him, then you're allowing him to play to his, his two immense to take what I think is an unnecessary fifth foul. Can't be more impactful. James drives. James thought he got hit. Instead, it's going to be Cleveland ball. Guarded by Howard. Shaq backs in. Shaq puts it up. Too strong. Howard rips down his 15th rebound. And that's great D by Howard. That's when you don't have to double when you force him into a stay down defense and then secure the basketball. And then on the other end, 
Nelson right up on Williams who puts up the three. Can't get it to go. O'Neal tips it in. Parker took a shot. Carter open, lobs it into Howard. Howard back up and gets whacked from behind by Jamison, who's just fouled out of the game. And that was great patience by Vince Carter. That will do it. A huge win for the Orlando Magic as the Cleveland Cavs lose their third consecutive game, their first three-game losing streak.